I went to Food Line yesterday and bought a 12 pack of donuts for $1.99. I was very displeased. They didn't quite taste like Krispy Kremes. Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Trey and welcome to Let's Talk Finances. So on today's video, we're going to be discussing are target dated funds good funds for retirement? TDFs are a set it and forget it retirement savings options that removes two very specific headaches for investors. Number one being deciding on a mix of assets, those assets being stocks, bonds, or cash. And number two, rebalancing your investment, meaning getting rid of some of those unnecessarily high risk funds in your portfolio. But what exactly are target dated funds? Target dated funds or life cycle funds are designed to be the only investment that investors need to put into their portfolio for retirement. The concept being broken down into four separate sections. Number one, choosing the year that you want to retire. Number two, choosing a target dated fund that corresponds with the year of retirement. So for instance, the Vanguard 2045 target dated fund, meaning 2045 is the year that you plan on retiring. Number three, putting as much money into that fund as possible. And number four, forgetting about it until you retire. So in this video, we're going to be covering why one may want to invest in a target dated fund or why a person may not want to invest in a target dated fund. Also, how they work. And then lastly, some key considerations that you may want to look into before you actually start investing in that target dated fund. So let's get ready to go ahead and jump into this video. But before we do so, many of my viewers have yet to subscribe to this channel. So if you find any value in the videos that I post, please do not forget to subscribe as I would greatly appreciate it. Why should a person invest in a target dated fund? Number one, the chief appeal of a target dated fund is simplicity. So if you think about choosing funds the same way you would think about choosing ingredients for a meal, then your asset allocation would be the choice of ingredients for that meal. So in essence, a target dated fund would be like an instant meal where the ingredients are provided for you. A target dated fund provides those asset classes for you all in one fund. So it makes it very simple for most investors. The second reason would be convenience. So one of the main reasons that investors own target dated funds, although many don't even know that they do, and we'll get into why that would be, it's due to convenience. Now, as of 2021, 82 percent of companies that offer a retirement plan, such as a 401k, automatically default investors into target dated funds. But 32% of those investors don't even know that they're invested in a target dated fund. Why? Because many of investors are simply putting money into the 401k and not checking on it. They don't even go into the 401k to see what they're invested in. So I would highly encourage all of you who are currently watching this video who have a 401k or retirement plan to log into your retirement plan and see what funds you are investing in. You may be surprised. The third reason is that it keeps investors from trying to time the market. Many of passive investors understand that time in the market is not conducive for your overall investment goals. Why? Because it makes you emotional. And when you're emotional in investing, chances are that you're going to try to buy high and sell low, all right? It's not conducive. It's not something that I ever do. As a matter of fact, when I invest, I put money in, I don't even check it again, all right? So with this being covered, let's go into how exactly target dated funds work. Although target dated funds may be a quick meal approach in investments, they are not all created equal. So for example, if you have two separate funds that both correspond with the year 2050. One of those funds may have about 90% invested in stocks to whereas the other may have 65% invested in stocks. So it's very important to understand that you need to do your research when choosing these particular target dated funds. Now, one particular feature of target dated funds is something called its glide path or better yet, how that fund automatically switches from a very risky stock to a less riskier bond 
throughout the course of its lifespan. So for instance, you may be invested in a 2050 target dated fund to whereas initially it's invested in about 85% stock. But by the time you hit 2050, you may very well be invested in about 20% stock. So that change, the path from going to risky to conservative is something that's known as the glide path. Now, two very important questions that you want to ask yourself when you're looking at investing in these target dated funds. Is it a two fund or a through fund? A two fund meaning that that glide path takes your investment all the way up to the corresponding year and stops. Meaning if you're invested in a 2050 target dated fund, it takes you up to 2050 and then it stops. However, if it's a through fund, it takes you all the way up to 2050 plus 10 years. So generally up to about 2060. So you need to be able to make that determination before you choose that target dated fund. Now, let's get into some of the cons of target dated funds. Number one, not all funds are created equal. I often say that you need to understand your investment strategy and your risk tolerance before you start investing. So many of individuals, including myself, do not choose target dated funds. Why? Because that fund does not match our, or should I say my, investment strategy nor my risk tolerance. I personally have a very high risk tolerance, but a part of that reason is because I have a high cash reserve. So I don't rely on bonds to be able to equal out my portfolio in terms of security. I simply rely on my cash reserves. So with that being said, you need to determine what your risk factor is. If it's very high, then chances are that target dated fund is not going to work very well for you. You have to understand how a target dated fund works. As you invest in that target dated fund, with today being 2021, let's say you're going to invest in a 2050 target dated fund. So early on, say from 2021 to up about 2035, it's going to invest in about the same amount of stocks, all right? Stocks are your money makers. So from that period, let's say you're invested in about 70% stock. Well, for me, I would like to be upwards to 90% stock. But as you move a little bit closer to that year of 2050, let's say you get to like 2040, you could very well be now invested in about 48% stock and 45% bond. And that, in my humble opinion, is far too low for an individual who is in their wealth accumulating phase. Now, the second con, which is a very big one, one that I would say you really need to be paying attention to, and that is that the expenses can add up. A target dated fund otherwise is known as the fund of funds. The reason being is that generally target dated funds consist of multiple funds. Now, some of these funds could be index funds. And if you know anything about my channel, you know that I love index funds. It is the very best fund for you to accumulate wealth over a long period of time. However, some of these funds could be actively managed funds. But I would highly encourage those of you who are currently participating in a retirement plan please log into your 401k or what have you and see what your current expense load is. I think that a lot of you would be very, very surprised because all of these separate funds that are in the target dated fund all have their own expense ratio. And when you add these expense ratios up, you could be paying a lot more than you have bargained for. So let's go into four key considerations that you need to be looking at before you choose that target dated fund. Number one, know what is in your target dated fund. A lot of these target dated funds are going to invest in multiple separate funds, some being index funds, others not. I personally would only invest, if you're going to invest in a target dated fund, one that invests in index funds. The second thing being the target dated fund that you choose has a very specific allocation, some being stocks, bonds, or cash reserves, right? You can actually create your own portfolio for far less in terms of expense ratios. 
A lot of you just haven't done it yet because you're a little bit intimidated by it because you're new to investing. With a little bit of research, you can actually build your own portfolio. And in this video, I go over how to do that, but you can choose your own portfolio for far less and actually it will help you learn. And lastly, I'm kind of beating the dead horse here, but it's something that is very important and you need to understand what your expense ratio is. If you're going to choose a target dated fund, which I personally have not for these reasons, you need to understand that the expense ratio is probably going to be higher for your target dated fund because it is a form of management. Is a target dated fund a good investment? For some investors, yes, it is. But for most investors who are investing in index funds with the concept of becoming a millionaire in retirement, then this fund probably isn't going to be the right one for you. But log into your retirement plan or your 401k account and see what funds you are actually invested in. In my humble opinion, target dated funds are far too conservative, especially for those investors that are in their wealth accumulating phase. If you found this video to be insightful in any way, please do not hesitate to subscribe. And lastly, hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. As always, I want to thank the men and women who have served and continue to serve this country of ours. I greatly appreciate you all. So until the next video, let's talk finances then.